Hello friends, welcome to Troidal Power Presents, the Power Playthroughs Project with Troidal Power. I am your host, Troidal Power. This is the podcast where we play games in a powerful way. Um, today we're going to check out a little bit of a game called Unsighted. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about this game. I've kind of intentionally avoided hearing much about it. Everything I've heard has sounded really good, though. It sounds like it's got some Zelda vibes, some Metroidvania vibes. Um, I like all those things. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's one that I was planning to check out because it's on Game Pass. Uh, and then um, Data Air wrote a review for us over at geek to geek Media talking about how much they liked it. And that was starting to make me like, maybe I should pick this up on Switch. And then I saw um, Meg, Glass Bottom Meg, who uh, made a, a Skatebird and um, Spartan Fist, both of which we've, we've checked out here before. And, uh, and they were giving it a, a sterling recommendation as well. Um, so yeah, it sounds like a cool game made by a cool group of people, and um, we're gonna check out Unsighted. Um, let's get it pulled up here. Let's play some Unsighted. Ooh. Studio Pixel Punk. That volume feels loud to me. Let's check how it is uh, on the recording here. Um, I think it's gonna be too loud. Uh, we're gonna just turn it down a little bit. Um, by choosing a degree, you authorize Studio Pixelpunk and Humble Games to collect and process information. All information is reviewed and aggregated. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay, we see a gear, and then a lightning bolt strikes through it, and it says unsighted in cool pixel art. And then there's a cool pixel art girl on the side of the screen, like very close up of her face. She's got like silver hair. Uh, start game. Multiplayer is turned off. I didn't know this had multiplayer. Then there's controls. Let's check options. Language, English, pixel art, text is on. Text size is small. We've got sound effects volume and music volume levels. Um, meteor dust radar is turned on and speed run clock is turned off. Uh, extras, leaderboards, achievements, and credits. Uh, wow. Okay, so under start, we've got main story and then there's dungeon raid and boss rush. This has more um, like options to it than I would expect it to. If you see me looking around weird on the video version of this, it's very windy outside right now and it keeps sounding like there's things happening. Um, the game volume also still feels loud to me. We're gonna turn that down just a smidge more. Um, it's so hard to tell what's gonna be okay on the podcast and what's not. I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, okay, so difficulty levels. We've got Explorer, uh, Action Girl, which is recommended, and Robot Apocalypse. Let's let's use Action Girl. Intended challenge level recommended for experienced players. Seems fair. We're looking, everything's like distorted, coming into focus. Um, there's somebody laying on the ground. There's just a little bit of light around them. And then there's some light over to the left. And it says automaton repair room. Uh, collect the syringe to heal yourself. So I'm, I'm that that girl, presumably. I've got kind of dark skin, a blue suit, and white hair, and blue antenna on my ears. You've collected the plasma syringe. Press the right bumper to heal yourself. Press the right bumper to fill your life. All right, we've got life. Ooh, and some lights came on. We can see we're in a, a lab here. We can press B to jump. Uh, none of the other buttons do anything yet. Okay, let's look around to the south here. It looks like there's a doorway out. Um, lab West Wing. So we're in a top-down perspective, um, but but leaning into the angle much more than a Zelda game typically would. Like a Zelda game tries to pretend it's straight top-down. This is this is uh, much more tilted top-down, angled down. Um, ooh, what's this big robot in a test tube? So there's like test tubes. It's all dark and spooky looking. Uh, there's little robots in that test tube. Press Y to run. Okay, I got that. Uh, we'll run to the right here. Lab East Wing. Um, uh, more of the same. I am using my, um, 8-Bit-Do 2, 8-Bit-Do Pro 2 controller here. Uh, and it definitely feels right. The Super Nintendo style controller. Uh, we're up in the weapons research room. Ooh, there's a big glowing chest. Hello, big glowing chest. Oh, I can't get to it because there's plants in the way. I need, like, a cool sword. Oh, wait, there's stairs. We'll go up the stairs. Can we jump down then? Yeah. All right, hello, treasure chest. Press X. We got an iron edge. Equip it in the pause menu. Mm. Uh, okay. So let's go to the pause menu. Uh, weapon, nope, that's okay. Hang on, press plus to equip new weapons. Go down to weapon one. Iron edge, there we go. 
rudimentary weapon crafted by humans long ago to be used against automatons. It is a popular choice among the automatons nowadays. Oh, cool. And when we equip it, we can see it on our back. That's dope. I like that a lot, actually. All right. Press ZR, ZL to attack. So I have that equipped to ZR, so we'll break some stuff. We broke like a shiny crystal and got an iron ingot. Cool. Cut down plants now. Ooh, we got a stick, a wooden branch times one. And then uh, my character stopped and there was a crashing sound. Um, there is one of those test tube things here that's crashed open, one of the like big holding, like back the tank. But I don't know if that was already like that when I came in. Okay, here's a little robot. Oh, he's flying towards me. Let's hit him with the sword. Okay. Um, Can I change my controls? Because... Uh... No, it doesn't look like I can. I gotta be honest, I don't, I'm not a fan of uh, attacks on the shoulder buttons. Um, I've been playing more of that uh, Shanyan Sword 7, Shanyan Sword 7, I think is how you say it. Um, I'm really digging that game. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, I do apologize if you listen to the audio on that. The audio quality was not where I wanted it to be. Oh, I have stamina apparently, because I just cannot swing my sword for a second. Uh, oh, I see it's that far above me, okay. Um, but it, its default uh, controls have the attack on the shoulder buttons, and I found out that you can switch that. So your your regular attack becomes Y, and your strong attack becomes X. Oh, I like it so much more. Uh, looks like this is an elevator, we're gonna press X. Insert the password to continue. Five, two, eight, six, three, one. No, that wasn't it. All right, I think we gotta look around for a password. Uh, we're picking up some metal scrap as we go, breaking open boxes. I keep like bouncing back and forth between using the D-pad and using the analog stick uh, to move around. Um, both feel good, which is always a good sign. Okay. Oop, here's another little skittery robot. Okay, I used up my stamina. Okay. So they like show where they're, they're they're gonna jump at me and they like telegraph where they're gonna jump and so if i am smart i can get out of the way and then just wail on them without having to use a jump that's a big robot oh he's too big it's a big spider bot okay okay he does not telegraph where he's gonna jump oh i defeated him i was a robot that was like twice as big as my character maybe three times as big as my character it was too big of a robot uh let's cut through some plants Break open another thing, get some more scrap. Ooh, a sprocket we got that time. There's a computer here. Uh, can't do anything with that computer, okay. Press B to dodge incoming to dodge enemy attacks. Thanks, game. Is there a door here? No. Okay, we can cut through these plants and go off to the left. And this is the doctor's room. Got some more scrap, got a wooden stick. My character stopped again. The camera pans over a little bit. And it says, Memories from a forgotten time come rushing back to you. Oh, there, there's a whole bunch of test tubes with me's in them. And there's somebody in a lab coat watching the, the test tubes, the back to tanks. The camera pans up. We see the doctor. She's wearing glasses. She says, Wake up, my dear. She's got great curly hair, like wavy hair. And then she says, we need your help, as the camera pans over to one of the Mies. And I open my eyes. And now the tank's broken open, and the me is kneeling on the ground. Uh, she looks up. And we're back to gameplay. Oh, there's a data pad over in the corner. Let's go get that data pad. Press X. Doctor's Log, number 95. Today was such a great day. Raquel and Alm... I'm, why am I doing that voice for the doctor? We just saw the doctor. Raquel and Alma are finally getting along nicely, and they're helping rebuild the city from the last human attack. Alma's a fast learner, and I'm certain she'll be crucial to ending this conflict. I hope we can teach her more than strategies of fighting. I'm sorry, strategies in fighting. There's so much more she's capable of. And by the way, the new elevator password is 1995. I'd better not forget it, like last time. Having to use the air ducts to get out of the lab definitively was not comfortable. All right, 1995. Ooh. What? This is like a block. I can do a block. I didn't realize that. I gotta remember I can hold Y. Ooh, red alert! Attention! Unidentified biomass detected inside the perimeter of the lab. All personnel, evacuate to the elevator immediately. That's what I was trying to do. Uh, oh, a big, a big creature with many eyes and claws 
and he's like a black hulking mass with green glowy eyes that turn red when he's gonna attack and then like one big lobster claw and several little lobster feet is chasing me as i'm running away I'm trying to remember if the elevator is down in the next room or if there's one more room after that i think it's south in this room here we go here we go down we go Ooh, there's there's the elevator x insert the password yeah i got it it is 1995 no oh i put it in wrong one nine nine five access granted welcome back doctor and we take off holy smokes i did not like that that was that's intense uh cutscene of uh of us standing in the elevator as the light flickers past is very similar to uh the cutscenes in retro dread when you're taking an elevator to a new area there um except in pixel art downtown cliffside is where we're at now it's raining and uh, there's a little fairy robot that says, help me. Heck yeah, we're going to help the little fairy robot. Hey, you over there. You look so strong. Help a poor fairy bot out of here. And there she's stuck under some rocks. Heck yeah. Press X. We broke her out of the rocks. Whew, thank you. That was rough. That monster got the best of me and I ended up stuck on this pile of debris. Hey, wait a second. You're not unsighted. Who are you? And I go, uh... Who am I? And the screen goes red, and we see somebody with an axe, and a claw grabbing a crystal, and then me throwing a sword at the person with an axe, and then a missile coming down, and me holding hands with someone. The hell was all that? Raquel? Raquel? Is this your name? No. I think that's who I'm looking for. Hmm, Raquel. The name does sound familiar to me. Well, why don't you come with me? I'm going to the Crater Tower. I'm supposed to meet Vana there. And then there's the tower. So that was the big, like, what I thought was a clock coming down. I think was like a missile landing in the middle of town, maybe. Vanna, Vanna is super smart and strong. There's nothing she can't do. I'm sure she'll be able to help you. And she probably knows who this Raquel person is. Uh, I guess. And also, getting there by myself would be hard. This place is crawling with unsighted. I'll mark the location of the crater tower on your map. Let's go. Hey, we got a cool map. Map of Arcadia. Crater tower is marked there. We can also see it in the background, but it looks like we'll need to go to the left to get there, I believe. Um, very cool scaling in the background uh, as uh, we move around here. Um, so I can aim with my right stick. Like, if I move my right stick around, I get a reticle. So I must I must get some lasers later or something that I can shoot a uh, twin stick shooter style. Oh, here's a little spider bot. I do feel bad because that one did not try to attack me before I attacked it. But the second one did so i think they would have been hostile anyway for just a second i was like oh no did i kill a defenseless innocent spider bot who had no intention of attacking me but i don't think that was the case i'll walk towards a vine to climb it sweet we can climb up here and break down this crystal and get some wires and a wooden branch now we're gonna kill a spider bot come at me bro come on there we go yeah plus four or something is that experience, maybe, that I'm getting? Um, I went to the north here. Downtown terminal. There's a big, like, computer thing. Hey, look, it's a terminal. Let's activate it. You can equip your chips at a terminal. Why, why are you looking at me like that? You don't remember what chips are? Here, take these. I got a strength chip. Increases damage dealt by melee weapons. Uh, attack plus two. Equip new chips at a terminal. And I got a health chip. Increases total life by one point. You can now equip these chips at the terminal. Let's do it. All right, we go up to the terminal and press X, and we can choose... Uh, I can buy a new chip shop for 320 monies, it looks like, and I have 214, or I can equip chips. Uh, you can equip chips here and also extend your chip slot... And also extend your chip slot capacity. Uh, where we've got... Uh, oh, so the strength chip is... Uh, okay, how am I going to describe this to podcast listeners? The chips are... Imagine a series of diamonds where there is a, a diamond in front of you and then up and to the right of that is a diamond and then down to the right of that is another diamond and then up and to the right and down to the right, up and to the right, down to the right. That's how the chips are laid out or that's that's what my chip slots look like. And currently I have the first three. So a chip and then up and to the right and then down to the right. And the, the health chip is just one, one square chip. That's easy. But then the strength chip is two chips going up and to the right. Although I did just equip the health chip first, and then the strength chip can be rotated. So it doesn't really matter that much. It's just it takes up two slots. I thought it was going to be like you could only increase them or equip them in certain configurations or something. Nice. It's always good to equip as many chips as you can. 
You can find new chips everywhere around Arcadia. You never know what effects they'll give you. And if you want to equip more chips at the same time, you can go to a terminal and upgrade your chip slots. Now let's keep going. Alright. Eventually, I'll probably get used to this uh, right shoulder button to attack thing, right? Probably, maybe. All right, Ruined Alley, we've got some spider bots to take out. Oh, I got shot. Okay, there's, there's, okay. I'm down to three health. Ow, I'm down to one health. Heal, right trigger. Okay, I healed. I think, I think I, I build up healing energy over time. So there's creatures that are like, they're like cyborgs. They're, they're not fully robotic. Um, and they shot stuff at me, which was very rude. And then, uh, here's some spider bots. A little spider bot. And then one of those big jumpy spider bots. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Okay. Gotta remember to keep an eye on stamina. I've been playing, uh, a great many Zelda games lately where, uh, well, not a great many. I've been playing Zelda games lately where I don't really have to think about stamina. Uh, hey, look, the crater tower's that way. Uh, she's pointing to the right, it looks like. I don't think you'll be able to cross that gap with your current equipment. Let's look around. Maybe we can find something that will help you. I bet I'm going to get a laser that I can use to shoot that target over there, and that's going to activate an elevator platform for me. That's what I think. Um, ooh, I can push this thing. Cool. Oh, <laughs> I'm just pushing it uh, aimlessly. I should probably push it over somewhere where I can use it to jump onto a different thing. This thing pushes so easily. I, I have been having fun, as I said, with uh, uh, Sean Yon Sword 7, um, but I got to... Uh, oh, how do I do this? Is there... I pushed it all the way into the corner, and I think that was not where I needed to push it. Um, there was a, a block sliding puzzle that I had to do in that game that was, like, not a terribly complex puzzle. Like, I figured out how to solve it without too much difficulty. However, pushing the blocks was ridiculously slow. And so, it like, when I started the puzzle cool accessibility thing that that game did i was like hey you got to do a block puzzle here do you want to do the puzzle or skip the puzzle you can just skip the puzzle uh oh i walked off the screen and back and the the thing didn't reset there must be a way to grab it uh, no no huh well oops okay we can't get through this door that's next to it because it's locked so Wait, maybe if we do our B jump off the ledge, we'll, we'll jump close enough to get it. Ha, it does. Okay, so we put the block where it was supposed to be. Uh, so Sean Young's Run 7, it was like, hey, do you want to do you want to skip the puzzle? And I was like, no, nah, I'll do the puzzle. But thank you for asking me if I want to skip the puzzle. And then I went to do the puzzle, and it was just so painfully slow. And so I did half of it, and there was like two sets of statues that you had to get in place. I'm going to die. Oh, no. Oh, no, I died. Oh, that was a gruesome death for a tiny pixel art character. I lose 134 of my monies! Okay, I'm back at the, the safe spot. Can I go back and collect my money off my dead body? Um, uh, so I did half the puzzle, right, in Shiny on Sword 7, and was like, hey, this is too slow. Like, the puzzle is fine, but pushing the blocks, like, the animation is just so slow. And so I was like, Hey game, I would like to skip the puzzle now. Um, but unfortunately, there did not seem to be any option for skipping the puzzle once you started it. So I actually had to like reload a save before that, go into the room and then choose skip puzzle. So it was like, it was a cool accessibility option. Eh, kind of, it, like it was, it was an almost a very cool accessibility option, except for it didn't provide an option for like, I've, I would like to try the puzzle. And then if I am flummoxed with it or get bored with it, I would like to be able to skip it at that point. Um, anyway, pushing blocks in this is much quicker, was, was my point. Satisfyingly quick compared to part of that other game. Uh, alright. There's, there's one of those laser guys. I'm gonna hide around the corner, take out the little spider bot, go back around the corner. This guy's like, oh, where'd she go? He can't see me because I'm going around the corner. Uh, we're going down. What? That's a switch. Ooh, we hit the switch. We hit the switch again and it lets us rise up. Oh, cool. Okay. So there's a switch that raises the platform up and down, and then there's one of these big old blocks, and I'm gonna push the big old block onto the platform, and then we're gonna take the platform up, and then I'm gonna push the big old block off of the edge. Funk, and then I'm gonna be able to jump over there, 
to a treasure chest. Opened up and I got a new chip, a spin attack chip. Increased spin attack by 50%. So do I already have a spin attack? Is that what that means? Huh. If I do, I cannot do it. Um, oh, there's my my monies. I, uh, oh, I did get my money back. Yeah. Okay, let's heal because I'm at like half health. Okay, I'm at full health now. I'm past where I was before. I got a cool spin attack chip. Scrapyard is the next area. That's a big rock wall that looks like I'm going to blow it up with some bombs later. I love the atmosphere and the music of this. It's very good. Um, all right. So there's 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 a, a switch, but I can't... I can't... How do I... Possible? Oh, I just go through it. I don't have to raise it back up. What am I talking about? I was trying to raise it back up. I didn't have to ride that one up. It was just a gate, basically. Okay, here's one of those cyborgs. Shooty cyborgs. Got him. All right. Ooh. Oh, that's a billboard. I thought he dropped something cool, but it's a billboard from a building up above. Uh, we're going up, uh, riding up at an automatic elevator to a glowy platform. Um, and nothing happens when we stand on the glowy platform. There's a there's a chest that's inside of an electric barrier. Um, oh, I see. Uh, there's a, to the left is a glowy orb, and the glowy platform had an icon of the orb about it. So I have to go up here and press X to hold objects. So now I'm carrying the orb and I'm going to run back over to the elevator and I'm going to ride the elevator up and then stand on top of the glowy platform. Now I'm going to set the orb in the glowy platform. That opens up the chest. We're going to, uh, or it, 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 it un electric gates the chest. I open it up. I got a key. Used to open locked doors around Arcadia. Hey, a key. Maybe there's a door we can unlock with this. Let's check our map. You can view the map by pressing the subtraction button, the minus button. And it shows the key on there. Lock door. Sweet. Uh, man, oh man. Hey, y'all, can I talk to you about Metroid Dread for a minute? I'm not going to get too much into it because, hey, we're playing a different game right now. But Metroid Dread is a very good video game. Uh, I like it a lot so far. One thing I love about it is that the map system is so detailed. Like, it shows you everything. It's like uh, that, that Jedi Fallen Order came out, and people were like, it's got a map like Metroid Prime, except for it does a better job of showing you everything. And it's like the, the people uh, at a... Uh, um, the people at the studio that makes Metroid Dread completely brain farting. Uh, we're like, oh yeah, hold my beer. We're gonna make an even better map system. It just it shows you a lot, is what I'm saying. It's nice. Um, all right, here's a, a tank where I can refill my healing potion stuff, maybe? Oh, I broke it open and it dropped out 50% healing. So now I have now I have 100% healing stocked up on my syringe. I don't know if I can only use it when it's at 100% or I'm not sure how that works, but I've, I've drained that resource down to um, 100%. It was at 200. Press A at the right time to stun enemies. That's our, that's our cool block move. Okay. Let's try it on this chittery spider. Yeah, perfect stun. Critical hit. All right. Oh, that was not a perfect stun. It's still knocking back, though. Perfect stun on that one, though. All right. Oh. Oh, this is like a... I, I would I would say a person, but they sound like a cyborg in a cloak with a uh, like a scimitar attacking me. Okay, I gotta heal. Hang on. Come at me. Yeah, stunned you. Took you out. All right. Oh, that opened up a church chest. Where? Okay, so we're approaching like a church here. There's like a collapsed spire of a church hanging down. Oh, you got a blaster. Equip in the pause menu. Uh, we're gonna put Iron Edge um, on the left trigger. No. Or, there we go. So we've got the blaster there and the iron edge there. So now, okay, yeah, my left trigger is going to be my sword. I think that's how I want it. And my right trigger, a blaster. Camera's panning up, showing us the church, showing us that there's cool stuff up on top of the church. So that's where we're going to go next. Uh, ZR, ZL to fire, right stick to aim. All right. So now this is a twin stick shooter uh, thing. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, here we go. Let me redo this. Um, so I'm switching my blaster to the left trigger because left bumper is reload. So I definitely need the gun on the same side as that or my brain will break. Um, okay, so where do we go now? There was cool stuff on top of the church. Oh, we can just go into the church. An old crumbling door. A big enough impact might destroy it. Like a sword? 
Oh, wait, the camera's panning up and showing us those boxes on top again. Is it saying we have to get up on top to break through? Yeah, because every time I look at the door, it goes and shows me those. So somehow I've got to get on top of the church first? Can we go through the crumbled tower? The spire? No. Can't go around it either. So I like this. By default, as you move around, you can see the aiming out in front of you showing you um, where where your blaster is going to shoot whenever your blaster is out. But then you can also use your right stick if you want to like run left and aim right. That's that's a cool system. Um, I can't get back over that way because there's a wall. Oh, I can shoot that though. And that opens up a, a pathway for me. Reload our gun. Oh, it looks like there's an, an active reload option. Like if you reload at the right time, it'll reload quicker or something. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, we're back in the scrapyard, but we're in a different section of it. Um, breaking down a bunch of uh, those crystal things that give us a bunch of resources here. We're getting wires and monies and all kinds of stuff. We're up to 554 money. Um, is there something over here that I haven't done yet? Now that I have the blasters, there are cool new things I can do. Maybe? Blind Alley. Oh, you can you can you can deflect projectiles back at the Pearson, Pearson back at the person back at the creepy, rotting organic cyborg thing. That's very dope. Okay. How do I get up high enough to get that? So there's there's three platforms, but the one that's closest to a treasure chest doesn't go high enough for me to get. To the treasure chest. Huh. Oh. 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 So there's three platforms, right? I think I said that. Uh, one of them, the farthest left, goes up, like, goes up two increments of height. And the other ones only go up one increment of height. And the chest is to the, to the far right. But then there's two blocks down here that I can push up onto those two. And that'll make them taller. I see. All right. Well, I can't listen. I'm not against a block pushing puzzle, and it seems like this game might rock block pushing puzzles. I'm okay with that. Um, so far, I'm because I'm probably going to wrap this up relatively soon here. We're, we're coming up on half an hour or so. Uh, if you haven't been able to tell by my voice, which I assume you probably can't tell, uh, my my initial impressions of Unsighted are very positive. Um, I, I I like this a lot. It looks good. It feels good. Uh, it's got a great like vibe to it. I'm definitely excited to play more of this one. Ooh, vampire chip heals life by one point for every three enemies defeated. I want that. I want that a lot. Um, I had and I've heard that it's got a pretty cool story too. So I'm really interested to see where that goes. Um, yeah, I, I think I think uh, heavy recommend on this one. And and like I said uh, at the start, I believe this is available on Game Pass. So if you've got um, if you've got an Xbox uh, Game Pass subscription active right now, you can check it out there. Although I can absolutely tell you already, like I, I play when I'm recording for you guys, if I'm doing a video, um, I play uh, in in docked mode, um, which is which is fine. I like I, I like playing my Switch in docked mode just fine. But I play my Switch in handheld a lot and I can already tell this is going to be uh, a, a primarily handheld game for me. It just it's got that feel. It feels like that's where it belongs. Um, Opened up a new pathway here. I don't want to stop playing is the problem. Like, I I don't feel like we've gotten to a good, like, a good stopping point. I mean, we did get a blaster, and that's pretty cool. And then we found that church, and I thought there was going to be something cool there. Like, maybe, like, a boss fight or something. But uh, so far, no luck. Ooh, here's some vines we can climb up. Whoa! Okay! Cool. Can you use your blaster while you're hanging from the vines? You can, because the vines are on a piece of wall that moves when you hit a switch. That was very cool. I liked that a lot. Oh man, two two of those um, uh, be, be, be hooded saber wielding individuals just appeared. Um, let's let's sh let's shoot at them. Oh gosh, we are doing poorly. Okay, got to think about the combat here. Let's block. There we go. And then wail on him. Oh, 
they can shoot too. I didn't know they could shoot. Oh, I hit reload instead of shoot and he killed me. Oh. Friends, I just lost 299 monies. You know, I was talking about uh, not feeling like we got into a good stopping place. I mean, what better stopping place is there than uh, the getting killed by saber wielding cyborgs? Androids, replicants, reploids. I don't. I'm not sure what the terminology is yet. Friends, sighted. Um, yeah, sighted is very cool. I definitely recommend uh, giving this one a look because um, it seems like something special. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, yeah, check it out. And until next time, friends. As always, tap A and hope for the best. The Power Playthroughs Podcast is part of the We Can Make This Work Probably Podcast Network and geek to geek Media. Visit chortlepower.com to find more of my nonsense, links to both networks, and the Patreon where you can support the show.